so much, Lilia, and for your elegant transition through uh, the typical uh, technical challenges that come. We would also like to heartfully and gratefully thank all the poets for being so gracious to be in your time and on time. And so that allows the people who um, have uh, joined us uh, to also read this afternoon and this morning as well. Thank you so much. Right, the next reader, my co-host, we all love Sylvia Taylor. Imagine yourself on a wild, wild west coast morning with the wind blowing and the seagulls crying and the wind rushing the crowd, clouds across the sky, the waves crashing against the beach. And think of the great sea serpent who waits to come to you in your time. The legend of Sisutl of the First Nations of the Pacific Northwest. From the depths of the sea between <laughs> the mountains, from the doorways of the supernaturals, he fiercely guards the great serpent comes. Wings of thunderbird, twin heads of wolf, Silver sides of salmon, forked tongue of snake, fierce heart of dragon, earth wisdom of bear. <coughs> Traveling in seas and rain and blood and tears, he transforms himself. For he is the shapeshifter, the soul searcher, the truth seeker. He comes to judge all humankind. He comes to judge your courage, your heart, your soul, your spirit. He finds you in your deepest, darkest fear. He comes to you in your life-changing times. And when his fearsome head rises from the waters and his gaze burns deep into your heart and soul, you must stand your ground and face your horror, face your fear. And when his second more fearsome head rises from the waters to steal your soul, each face will see the other, your true self reflected in them. The ones who cannot control their fear, whose hearts are filled with darkness, who cannot hold their truth, are devoured, or turned to stone as they run from him. Those who hold truth and courage who stand in their authentic selves. He blesses with wisdom and magic and bids them return to their lives as chosen ones to be leaders and beacons for others. Thank you. That is the opening and an homage to the Coast Salish peoples of my book, The Fisher Queen, published by Heritage House in 2012. Thank you.